Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Uh, this is the service now instance, demo instance, which is in the Quebec release video. So this we are talking about the HRSD uh, series. So today we will talk about the plugins. So what are the plugins is required uh, for the HRSD modules and then what are the things we can do to activate the HRSD. So last session we talked about that, what is the HRSD and how we show you the demo that how the HRSD looks like that. But today we will activate the HRSD in our plug modules. I mean the modules will be activated in our service instance and then I will show you that how the HRSD will works for your instance. To activate the plugin, if you see basically we have four plugins, main plugins. Uh, so first plugin is the core plugin which is the plugin ID is the com.san underscore hr underscore core. These plugins help you to uh, you know um, set up the basic backend core activity of the HRSD. Second is the HR service portal. This will enable that employee service center and then third if you are dealing with the lifecycle events then you need to install this plugin and the fourth is the integration plugin that will uh, help you to integrate with HR module with the third party. So very first thing is that I have to go back to here in this module and type the plugins in the plugins module I'll search for the uh, HR core module so let's search that so this is the plugin module which is loading it usually takes some time so first I have to be install this uh, core module uh, so let's do that before that if you type that human resource or HR uh, you cannot see any module under this left navigation so what we have to do here we have to search that um, human resource and if you see in this bottom it's saying that human resource scope apt code and this is case and knowledge management and if you see here the id is saying that com.sn underscore hr underscore code and it is paid service if i go back if you see this id is matches sn underscore hr underscore code uh, this is the purpose of case and knowledge management what we have to do we have to install this plugin once you click the install uh, you will see that the multiple plugin dependency status are showing some of the plugins are will be activated some of the plugins are already activated so their status is showing that this or the module or these are the plugin will be activated these are the plugins already installed and if you see the some of the plugins uh, are will not be loaded because these plugins are in, uh, inactive so in that case this plugin will not be installed by default so under this bottom you have a safe options called load data demo if you check that there will be a couple of load data demo will be installed for production we normally don't check the load data demo but in the non-production environment to check the data how the data is representations the service now will create some demo data for us so we check the load data and click the activate once we click the activate it will be activated and it will take some time so let's activate that so now you can see it is started uh, uh, installing that right now in 14 percent so it will be completed within a couple of minutes then 100 percent and then we will be able to see that extra module in the list. so now you can see that my first um, uh, plugins is activated so which is the agent uh, human resource scope app core so now second uh, plugin which is the HS service portal this plugin I'm going to be activated so let's do that so what I'll do I'll do that HR service portal type that employ and employee service portal and here we go we have employee service portal we are going to activate this one so I'll do the load demo data and click install. So this will um, install that employee service center. So lastly, I will install the case and knowledge management this plugin. I'll click here and then load demo data and click install. So it will be install the case management also. So let's complete that one also. <coughs> so our plugins is installed here successfully. And if you see the document that we have installed this one, uh, this uh, core one and then HR service portal along with that case and knowledge management three plugin we have installed we don't install the life cycle events and integration we'll do the further uh, in our next video and then if I type in the left navigation called HR and then you can see that HR case management is available and in this HR case management uh, we have the option called create new case create bulk case and 
all the HS case module, all the HR case are available here. And if you see here, uh, under this HR uh, um, integrations are also available. And here HR administrator module also available where we can configure that HR module. So in our upcoming video, we'll talk about that, how we can configure all those details one by one. So till the time, uh, please share, uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon. So if you have any feedback, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.